Welcome to Thursday, the 29th day of August, 2024. This day weather podcast brought to you by ConverseCountyTourism.com. Beautiful landscapes, historic sites, and unique downtowns await visitors to Douglas and Glen Rock, Wyoming. Plan your visit at ConverseCountyTourism.com. Well, when there's not a lot of weather to talk about and you have a lot of high pressure and sunshine, we call that severe clear. And that's a pattern that's going to be with most of the western United States through the course of the upcoming Labor Day weekend. We actually did see a few clouds return to the air yesterday, as evidenced by that photograph there, and even a few thunderstorms formed over some areas of Colorado and the western high plains last night. But kind of the last gasp of the most recent monsoon surge is dry air is overspreading the region. We had a push of dry air come in Tuesday and yesterday. We have another push coming in today and tomorrow. With very low humidity, very little in the way of any significant rain chances, we are going to see high fire dangers through the holiday weekend. So really, no matter what you're going to be doing, where you're going to be going, be very careful. If you're going to be uh, using any campfires, using any hot equipment, chainsaws, whatever, check where you're going to make sure there aren't any fire restrictions in place. We're going to be looking at less wind today, and I really don't see wind as a factor from today through the weekend. That'll be good. When it comes to chances of rain, only small chances, and they're mainly going to be Sunday and Monday, although the far southern areas of the Rockies, closer to the monsoonal moisture, will have some showers and thunderstorms. We do have a small little weather system that is going to come off the Pacific and through the region Tuesday and Wednesday. And there may be an uptick in rain chances then, not great rain chances, but we'll see a little bit of something. You can really see that comma shape very well there in northeastern areas of Montana and southern Canada. That upper level low is going to continue to head east. Out ahead of it, there'll be plenty of shower and thunderstorm activity. We had severe weather in North Dakota and northern South Dakota yesterday evening with some strong thunderstorms and some tornado activity. But you can see the dry air there in the red and the orange coming in in there behind it. The air with this system was pretty cold, cold enough that, yes, there was some snow in Glacier National Park. So it was Montana's turn to get into the early season snow yesterday. In fact, had a road closure on the going to the sun road yesterday. That'll be moving out and high pressure will return. And like what happened in parts of Wyoming, that'll be melting away as we head on into the weekend. Because here's the high pressure ridge coming in behind it. This low is going to head east northeast into southern areas of Hudson Bay by later this week and the upcoming weekend, allowing high pressure to build and expand. This is for Sunday. So Saturday, Sunday and into Labor Day Monday, this area of high pressure will dominate. This little low right here, another Pacific Northwest low, will come up over and down and through the area, but not until Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's your rain forecast through Monday morning. You can see that down in Texas, southern areas of New Mexico, down into Arizona here, and even parts of Southwest Colorado, then into Kansas, where the moisture is, you're gonna have some showers and thunderstorms, but you can just kind of draw a line here where the big changes in relative humidity, high humidity here, low humidity here, and that's really that there's going to be this boundary between the moist air and the dry air for several days. So you're going to be down here, you're going to be humid, you're going to have showers and thunderstorms, and you're going to be hot, very dry conditions elsewhere throughout the west. Now that's through Monday morning, and if we step through the thunderstorm thread on Sunday, we can see that Sunday Thunderstorm threat is very low. The thunderstorm threat for today, Friday and Saturday, very low. Sunday is the day where we start to see a little bit of it come back. And this is Labor Day Monday. Thunderstorms, especially in Utah, even the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Western Wyoming, the mountains of Northern Colorado and Southern Wyoming. Well, you could see some afternoon and evening storms, but we're gonna get through the majority of the Labor Day weekend with really not much happening. Then by Tuesday noon, that Pacific Northwest low starts to head east. The high pressure ridge gets flattened out and this system will go up and over the ridge and down like this. And as it does so, there's the uptick. So right after we get back from our three day weekend, well, showers and thunderstorms become more widespread, especially across Montana, parts of Wyoming and Colorado. The moisture isn't gonna be really deep, but 
for two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Showers and thunderstorms will be associated with that low as it comes through. It'll bring slightly cooler air towards the middle of next week. Then right behind it, high pressure will probably build right back on in again. So not a lot to talk about over the next five to six days here across the West. So enjoy because by the end of next week, this is by Thursday, that low has gone up and over the ridge, headed to the upper Midwest. High pressure starts to rebuild again. We're probably gonna have, finally, probably a hurricane in the Atlantic sometime late next week as it's been very, very quiet out there, but things are gonna to start to heat up in the tropics. We have another low up here in the Pacific Northwest that will probably wanna come in, oh, about 10 or 12 days from now. But until then, we are looking at very much a routine late August, early September weather pattern across the region. Over the next 10 days, the precipitation looks like this. You can see definitely very wet along the Gulf Coast, maybe getting up into the Southern Plains a little bit. This is where all the subtropical moisture is gonna be. This is showing the potential there for possibly hurricane tropical storm activity. A lot of moist tropical air down here, but it's not gonna have really any good access to come back northward. So a lot of the US, once you go north of this line, is really not going to see too much in the way of weather here for quite a bit, other than some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll have more on your Labor Day weekend for you tomorrow.